I'm Joe Levy. I've packed a delicious pop picnic for us on this week's Real Time Rewind. So what do you say we talk about all the action on Billboard's Real Time Twitter charts? And what have I got in my uh, picnic basket? I've got a delicious vegetarian sandwich, uh, a nice little health food to go with that. And look who's joining us. It's Beyonce and Nicki Minaj. Ladies, thank you for joining me. Let me know if you want some uh, salad. Now, the world woke up on Sunday, August 3rd to a remix of Beyonce's Flawless featuring Nicki Minaj. It dominated social media and, of course, shot to the top of the trending 140 and stayed there for the next 20 hours. Now, the song has a long history that dates back to March of last year when it started out as a track called Bow Down. And, of course, on her album, it opens with a video of her on Star Search in 1993 at age 12, probably the last time she lost anything. The remix addresses all the haters gossiping about the state of her marriage, and she lets us know that she and Jay-Z are worth about a billion dollars, and when you have a billion dollars stuffed into a small elevator, of course stuff goes down. This luckily is not a problem most couples have. Also, by the way, haters, bow down. Later that same night, Nikki finally released her single, Anaconda, which I'm pretty sure is about how snakes evolved from lizards during the mid-Cretaceous period. It also went to number one on the trending 140. Uh, you guys want to cook it? Oh my gosh. Hey, I'm Nick Jonas, and you're watching Real Time Rewind on Billboard. If everyone will just slide down a little on the wicker couch, thanks for joining us, Nick. I'm sorry that there's no food left. The video for Nick's solo single, Chains, came out last week, and it didn't just drive him to number one on the trending 140. It was number three on our weekly Twitter chart, which means it's the third most talked about song on Twitter last week. The video for Chains is dark and brooding, with Nick having to fight his way through the cops to get to his lady love. Nick's fans had a suggestion for a way to make this song even darker and sexy. I think some of the funniest tweets I got this week were uh, about people saying that Chains should be in the Fifty Shades of Grey soundtrack. Uh, I think it's actually a pretty good fit, so hopefully they hear the song and uh, find a place for it. I'm Joe Levy. Thanks for joining me and my special guests on the Real Time Rewind picnic. Questions, comments, get at us at hashtag Real Time Rewind, and we'll see you next week.